Oh, hi, I am so glad that you are here because the Odd Squad agents need your help. Who's the Odd Squad? They're a group of kid agents who use their investigation skills to investigate anything weird, strange, or odd. And today, they need your help using your engineering design skills to help them solve a case. So before we get started, we recommend that you pause this video, and if you haven't already, watch the episode of Odd Squad called The Bad Luck Bears, and use your observation skills to see if you notice how they use sound to solve the case. And then after you watch the episode, you need to get your materials together. And for today's case, you'll need a couple of different materials. You'll need some scrap blank paper. You'll need a writing utensil of some kind, whatever you have laying around. And then we want you to kind of gather some things from around your house or wherever you might be for our engineering design challenge. So that could be some empty cardboard boxes like this, cereal, crackers, cookies, whatever you might have lying around. Um, some paper tubes or something kind of long like this that you might be able to use. Um, some rubber bands or string or anything that makes a really interesting kind of sound and maybe is a little bit stretchy. Um, some tape, some scissors, maybe some glue. If you don't have the supplies and decide you need more later, you can always go grab more things. But if you have a, a good selection of materials like the ones I just mentioned, you'll be all ready to go for our engineering design challenge, okay? So once you watch the episode, got your materials, then we'll get ready to start solving the case. Oh, look, here's a letter from Miss O. Let's read it aloud and see what she has to say about today's case. This just in, Gary, the guitar guy, is in a bit of a pickle, literally. He was playing his guitar for a crowd of people down on Main Street, strutting along as he played when he accidentally fell into a vat of pickle juice that was being loaded off a truck. Gary emerged okay, but his guitar was totally wrecked. He needs a new model and he is desperate. He can't play just any old guitar. He needs something that strums when the strings and the sound goes from high to low. Oscar is working really hard to develop a gadget that evaporates big tubs of pickle juice every time Gary gets close to one, but that's another story. If agents and your local odd squads can share their ideas for guitar designs, Ms. O asks that you build one and send it to headquarters to help out Gary Stat. Okay, so what was the problem that Mrs. O gave to us in her letter? She said that Gary the guitar guy fell into a vat of pickle juice and ruined his guitar. So now he needs your help to design and build a guitar that's gonna create sounds that go from high too low. So this is where the engineering design process comes in. What's the engineering design process? It's a, a step that you go through to create and build an, something from an idea that you have. So first you need to identify our problem, which you've already done. We need to create a guitar for Gary that goes from high to low. And then the next stage is to use your imagination and kind of think about how you might solve this problem. What kind of guitar might you create? And then you're gonna use your paper that you have in your writing utensil and you're gonna draw out your design and you're gonna plan and sketch out what your guitar might look like, what materials you might use and how you're going to build your guitar because we always wanna start with a plan before we just start getting to work. So once you've got your plan done, then you're going to actually build. So you're going to use those materials we talked about earlier, boxes, rubber bands, masking tape, whatever you have on hand, whatever goes along with your plan to build your guitar. And then you're going to test it out and make sure that you have sounds on the guitar that go from high to low and see if it turned out how you thought it was. Sometimes when you design something, you, you make a plan and then you build it and maybe it, it turns out exactly like you thought it was and maybe it didn't. And if it didn't, that's okay because you can just start that process right over, see what you might wanna change and then go back to the drawing board, make a new plan, work on your guitar and keep doing that over and over until you're happy with the final result. So I made up a nice little sample guitar here. Yours doesn't have to look exactly like this. It can look however you want, but this is just what I came up with here. So you'll see as a box here, a little opening in the middle. You can think about why that might be. And it's got some different size rubber bands here. So if you flick each of those rubber bands, do you hear that there's different sounds to each of them or do they all sound the same? I think they sound a little bit different and you might notice that there's some that sound really high and some that sound really deep and low. So see if you can imagine and plan and use your engineering design skills to create and build your own guitar that you can send to Miss O at headquarters and see if it will help to replace Gary's guitar that he lost. 
Okay, agent, so now that you've tested out your guitar, let's play along together and see how they all sound. Did you, were you able to create a guitar that has high sounds and low sounds? If you were, great job. If you haven't quite done it yet, just keep working and see if you can figure it out and get your guitar to work exactly how you want it to. So great job agents, great job using your engineering design skills. You were able to figure out how to design something, how to create it, and create something that has high pitches and really low pitches. So that means that there's another case solved by the Odd Squad. Great job agents.